Have you ever stopped to admire a ladybug? These tiny beetles, also called ladybirds or lady beetles, are far more than just pretty insects. They're a bundle of surprises, and today we're uncovering all their secrets. Ladybugs belong to the Coccinellidae family, a group with over 5,000 species worldwide, ranging from tropical rainforests to your backyard garden. Their most famous look, red shells with black spots, is iconic. But did you know not all ladybugs are red? Some are yellow, orange, pink, brown, white, or even black. Their spots aren't just for decoration. They serve as a warning signal to predators, a behavior called aposematism. Bright colors scream, I'm toxic. And toxic they are. Ladybugs secrete a yellow, foul-smelling liquid from their legs when threatened. This fluid, called reflex blood, tastes terrible to birds, lizards, and other would-be predators. Yet despite their defenses, ladybugs are often preyed upon by larger insects like dragonflies and assassin bugs. When it comes to dining, ladybugs are voracious predators themselves. A single ladybug can eat 50 aphids in one day and up to 5,000 in its lifetime. But aphids aren't their only meal. They'll also munch on mites, scale insects, white flies, and even small caterpillars. For farmers, ladybugs are a natural pest control army. In their early stages, ladybugs look nothing like their adult forms. They begin life as tiny, yellow eggs laid in clusters on leaves, strategically placed near a food source. Within a few days, the eggs hatch into larvae, long, spiky creatures resembling tiny alligators. These larvae grow rapidly, shedding their skin multiple times before entering the pupal stage. After a few weeks, they emerge as the classic round beetles we recognize. But here's an interesting twist. The number of spots on a ladybug doesn't indicate its age. Instead, spots and colors vary by species. For instance, the seven-spotted ladybug is common in Europe, while the Asian lady beetle, a non-native species introduced for pest control, has a wide variety of patterns. Some species have no spots at all. Ladybugs are cold-blooded, which means they thrive in warm weather. When the cold sets in, they enter a state of diapause, a form of insect hibernation. During this time, ladybugs gather in large groups called aggregations, often finding shelter under bark, in crevices, or even in houses. Some species can survive for months without food during this period. Did you know ladybugs have been part of human culture for centuries? In folklore, they're symbols of luck and protection. Farmers in medieval Europe believed ladybugs were sent by the Virgin Mary to save their crops from pests, which is why they're called Our Lady's Beetles. They've even gone to space. In 1999, Ladybugs joined an experiment aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery to study how aphids behave in zero gravity. But not everything about ladybugs is rosy. Invasive species like the Asian lady beetle are outcompeting native ladybugs and have become a nuisance in some areas. Unlike native species, these ladybugs can bite, release more reflex blood, and even invade homes en masse. Ladybugs communicate through subtle signals, using their antennae to pick up chemical cues. They also make squeaky sounds by rubbing body parts together. Yes, some ladybugs sing. These little beetles are eco-warriors, helping maintain balance in ecosystems. Without them, pest populations could spiral out of control, damaging crops and native plants. So, the next time you spot a ladybug, remember, behind that tiny colorful shell lies a world of fascinating secrets. Whether they're protecting gardens, defying predators, or simply brightening our day, ladybugs are a tiny but mighty force of nature. Also, did you know that ladybugs are part of a much larger group of beetles? They're classified within the order Coleoptera, which is the largest order in the animal kingdom with over 350,000 species. This makes ladybugs distant relatives to stag beetles, fireflies, and weevils.
Ladybugs are found on every continent except Antarctica. While they prefer temperate climates, some species have adapted to arid deserts, tropical rainforests, and high altitude mountain ranges. Their ability to thrive in diverse environments is a testament to their adaptability. Each ladybug species has a unique life expectancy, but on average, they live for about one year. However, in that time, they go through four distinct life stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult, a process known as complete metamorphosis. Ladybugs are polymorphic, meaning individuals of the same species can have different colors and patterns depending on factors like temperature, genetics, and habitat. This makes identifying certain species tricky for entomologists. Here's an unusual fact. Ladybugs are highly gregarious during the colder months. Some species, like the convergent lady beetle, migrate to warmer areas or higher elevations, traveling in massive swarms. These migrations can involve millions of individuals, creating a spectacular natural phenomenon. The structure of a ladybug's body is also fascinating. Their hard, colorful outer shell is called the elytra, which protects their delicate hind wings. When they take flight, the elytra lift up, revealing the thin, membranous wings beneath, which can beat up to 85 times per second. Ladybugs don't just rely on aphids for food. They are omnivorous and will eat pollen, nectar, and even fungi when prey is scarce. Some species, like the Mexican bean beetle, are even considered agricultural pests because they feed on crops like beans and alfalfa. Ladybugs are highly sensitive to changes in their environment. They can sense the presence of prey or predators through pheromones and use chemical signals to communicate with other ladybugs. This ability is particularly useful when forming large overwintering groups. Did you know that ladybugs can survive in water? While they aren't aquatic, they can float and paddle to safety. They accidentally fall into a pond or stream. Ladybugs have natural enemies beyond larger predators. Parasitic wasps, fungi, and even mites can attack ladybugs during their larval or pupal stages, sometimes killing them before they reach adulthood. Some ladybug species are incredibly rare. The nine-spotted ladybug, once common in North America, has become so scarce that scientists launched a lost ladybug project to track sightings and study their decline. In Japan, the harlequin ladybird is revered for its effectiveness in pest control, but it has also caused controversy as it spreads to other countries, outcompeting native species. This highlights the complex balance between nature and human intervention. Ladybugs are surprisingly fast for their size. When disturbed, they can scuttle away quickly or take flight almost instantly. They're capable of flying up to 37 miles in a single day. Interestingly, some ladybug species have symbiotic relationships with certain plants. They lay their eggs near plants that exude sugary secretions, providing food for both the adults and larvae. Ladybugs also have historical significance. In Sweden, spotting a ladybug in the spring was believed to predict a bountiful harvest, while in France, it was said that if a ladybug landed on you, your wish would come true. On a scientific level, ladybugs are studied for their ability to regenerate populations quickly. Females can lay anywhere from 200 to 1,000 eggs in a single season, ensuring their survival even in challenging conditions. And here's a fun fact for kids. Ladybugs have inspired superheroes. Characters like Ladybug and Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, show how these little beetles can be a source of inspiration for bravery and kindness. 